chocolate's basically are what we call origin chocolates. It's like a reserved wine. It's made from a particular cocoa bean and it has its own characteristic. So hence, you want flavours that are going to bring out the characteristics of that chocolate. And then listening to my customers is another big thing because people know what they want by giving out a chocolate and saying, what do you think of that? Yeah, that's nice, but I prefer a little bit of this or a little bit of that. And that then gives me ideas. It's not the selling that's the fun, it's the people experiencing the chocolate. It's coming in thinking, oh wow, I can smell chocolate. I say, yeah, it's a chocolate shop. We always have tasters getting people to try this, tell us what you think of that, because that helps us in our development of our chocolates as well, because we're always making new chocolates. And that's a nice thing. You want to come and get a gift for somebody? You're going to find something that's going to fit in with the personality of the person that you're giving them to. So people say, oh, I want a box of chocolate, sure, but who are you giving it to? And they look at me and I say, it's only going to help me decide what you're going to pop in your box. And you make individual boxes ideal for the person that you're giving them to. And that brings me great pleasure because then they walk out so, so pleased and proud of what they've got. I even have a few cardiologists that send their patients to me to buy chocolate. Dark chocolate is really good for you. So if your chocolate has been made with cocoa butter, cocoa butter actually lowers cholesterol. It's cholesterol free. We keep away from artificial flavoring. Everything is natural. So everything's extracted from either the fruit or, or the herbs that we're using. Our flavors are all natural. Once you come and actually try chocolate, you can actually say, wow, I can taste this, I can taste that. And I thought, well, Cypress could be our flavours are so amazing here. We overlook the herbs. I mean, our oranges are to die for, our lemons are to die for. I mean, we've just got so many flavours here. If you could just extract those or put that into chocolate, amazing medium. People come to Cypress, visit Cypress. So I thought, wow, I mean, you know, if you had some really good chocolate and then have the flavours of the island in that, I'm sure people would love it. So we use basil with orange, which is really, really nice. And we also have um, oregano and lime, my personal favorite. This is one of the kinds of basils. There are a lot of kinds of basil, a lot of different tastes. Uh, there is minty ones, there is sweet ones, there is uh, savory ones, you know. And obviously we grow with the ones that Julieta professed. And when they're ready, like today, we're going to cut some and take it to the shop and washed, spin dry, take the leaves, put in a fresh cream overnight to soak to get all the flavor. And Julieta will process it from there the way she wants to do it. Dad's just brought these in. These have just been picked. This is the local Cypriot basil, which is really sort of intense and it's also a bit peppery. So it really works well in a chocolate. We're now preparing the cream for our orange and basil chocolate. The fragrance from that is just amazing. We do the one that recently won an international chocolate award. When I first started working on it, my father was saying, Thanks, Uza. I said, Yes. It's amazing. We're bringing together the elements for our award winning chocolate, the Fig and Uzo. These are our local figs that have been macerating in Uzo. Now you can see that Uzo has actually gone quite syrupy. These figs now, with the residue of the Uzo, will be blended down so that we get a lovely paste. And then we have tempered chocolate. We will then add cream to make the ganache. Our fig and uzo is actually blended in with the milk chocolate. Having it dipped in a dark chocolate gives you that lovely contrast. So all we want really is just a thin layer of chocolate on this, which will allow us to be able to cut the ganache on the cutter. Perfectly cut ganache pieces ready for dipping. The other thing we're working on is carob with sesame. Again, trying to get really local flavours and representing those with good quality chocolate. We started out making just chocolates, but then people were saying, oh, do, do anything else. And I thought, yeah, we should do patisserie. That's what, that was my intention. And we've now opened up to doing speciality cakes. So we started making macarons. The way we do it here is mature our macarons and then they're just sold on the day that they're matured and then the next day after that they're not available for the public. The difference with this macaron is the actual ganache is made with the real orange oil. So in other words, we extract that orange oil from the orange that we picked off the tree. Because when you get an artificial flavour, 
it hits you, but it disappears. This just keeps coming through. Oh, oh wow, that's good. <laughs> We do tartlets, we have salted caramel, it's a great cheesecake, a baked cheesecake. Everything is of high quality and it makes such a difference. All our cakes are sold by the slice as well, so you don't have to come in and think, you know, it's only two of us, what are we going to do with the whole cake? We've got a lovely area outside now where you can come in and you can have hot chocolate. Best hot chocolate in the house. <laughs> Made with great Belgian chocolate. Or you can have a nice uh, French press coffee with a choice of our patisserie. We make sorbets. You can have an amazing sorbet made with real chocolate. It's great ingredients, amazing taste. You know, if you're going to eat something, make sure it's the best. And that is my mission. Whatever comes out of here, it's the best. You want a really good chocolate? I'd like in people's minds when they go, bing, Julietta. That would make me happy.